Hey y'all, it's Kayla, or Dr. K, and this is The Blase Show, best podcast on earth. Y'all probably like, why y'all, why are you not on the ones and twos today? Well, that's because I'm doing something very special. I'm doing the Blase Chris interview. Holy shit. And this is Blase Chris. Oh! Can I get a round of applause? Blase Chris is in the building. Woo, woo. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time to do this. And he probably hasn't been waiting a long time to do this, but what made you think that? He probably waited a long time to do this <laughs> too. <laughs> but I'm about to just jump right into it. How you feeling today? Today I feel excited. What what did you do today? Like how like how was your day? It was a regular nine to five ass day. Went to work, came back home. I, I streamed today. But goddamn, my internet was so bad. I was tuning in for that stream. It was fucking up the internet. No, it was perfect the whole way. Yeah, through. that's why I was like, I don't know what you was talking about, but it started it started messing up a little bit like towards the end. But like it wasn't that bad. Like it maybe like paused like one time. I know what was hitting in that video. Them ads. Oh, it was <laughs> giving you ads. <laughs> Ch- ching. That 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 stream was only like nineteen minutes, and there had to be at least eight ads. Damn. Two ad breaks, four ads each. Hey man, this is about to plug in my Twitch. If you have um, Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for a free month right now. If you go to twitch.com slash one blaze the goat. <laughs> Like, but I, I think I, I think I need to change that because I think it is a setting where it's like it'd be like do an ad every such and such. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why I be I don't be making I barely like so far I probably made like barely two dollars off that like on my whole like time streaming. They not giving you they cause cause you don't know that your ads be popping up so you not they be on you not. Yeah, you're right though. But what else did you do today? Uh, did you do you, you go to work like what what else did you do? I went to work, I came home, I streamed, and then I came here for the interview today. Mm-hmm. It's only, it's only, it's only, oh shit, I'm not gonna cheat this. It's only seven o'clock, so today is a day, I ain't do that much today. So what? tell me about your job, where do you work? I work at an adult daycare center. Uh, I take care of old people. Make sure they get their food so they won't starve to death for the day. Shout out to Mr. Rodney. <laughs> that seems cool. So, like you said, you had like extracurriculars. This is this is like the third tape. So, in the I don't know if you mentioned it this time, You're not but you mentioned to tell it. Them that. it's cool. It's the first time every time. <laughs> but you mentioned it's extracurriculars. What are your extracurriculars? Hmm. If I had to say my extracurriculars, definitely basketball, um, definitely podcasting and music producing music and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, designing clothes, I can talk about that one too. And that's it, those really are my extracurriculars. Curriculars. So, basketball. I know you just started doing, I know you just started playing again. How has that been? It's just lit, I've been, I've been work, I've been, I miss it. <laughs> I miss playing basketball. I miss losing, I miss winning. I miss trying to keep the. I miss basketball. I didn't know how much I loved basketball until I stopped playing like type shit. Until you started it, like I know it felt good to start again. Yeah, yeah, definitely it did. So you just kind of brushed past how like your extracurricular is podcasting. That's <laughs> you like you tell me about that. How did you even you start like you you. When you first, like, you started off with just music, right? Yeah. Now, podcasting, like, how did you even get into that bag? It's just, it's just, as time went on, it's just, it's just, I just, I felt like when I, I guess around the time when I was started streaming on Twitch, mm-hmm. it was like, oh, like, all these, like, these people have never seen inside of Blase Chris type thing. And, like, I just didn't. I, I just wanted to like embrace that and then indulge in that because that's a whole different scale of like of people that know me, like they know me more type thing. So 
us just podcasting was just one of the ideas. Like, I don't like. I'm just thinking like as a young 20, 2022 20, now. Damn near. Like I don't. I wasn't about to write a book or like, like nothing like that shit. I'm trying to do like you know what I mean. So mm-hmm. I was trying to evolve my personality and, 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 and try to just shove it in the evolution of media and everything. So it's more personal than like anything. Yeah, it is. It definitely is personal. At the end of the day, the objective is just to is just to get my just get me out there, more so. Not not for any per not for any gang. My my the only gang that I that I want that I want to have is just putting it out there mm-hmm. and letting other people know that people like me. I guess people can connect to it, be inspired, or whatever, however the fuck they want to take it. But I just feel like I just need to do that. It just like it wasn't even a thing. It's not even a thought of like why would I want to do that. It's just something that I feel like needed to be done. Okay. So what sparked your interest? Like, did you just wake up one day and was like, I wanted to start a podcast? I get more so, more so it was like around the time when I when I had got interested in Twitch mm-hmm. and like I wanted to start streaming, and and I set up everything for streaming. And I started like watching myself back on Twitch, like after time and time watching myself back. It was like I, I was like I can do a podcast, like. So what what podcast do you watch that made you be like, yeah? I can do that shit. Yeah. Shit. Or that kind of just inspired you to do it, like you know what I mean? You saw and thought it was cool. Shit, like. Oh. Uh, I'm the first the first podcast I started watching was Kevin Hart's podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a funny guy. Like that's uh, now at, at at this point when I was listening to Kevin Hart, it was more so just being entertained. Like it wasn't more so it wasn't nothing like like trying to like thinking I can do it. And then I started watching. I mean, I started listening to uh, No Jumper started a podcast, and then like I, then that's more so. I started watching them like as far as like consistently, and then um, listen to Joe Button podcast too. Mm-hmm. Um, I listen to oh Random Order. I listen to them too. I love them. Pretty funny. Um, and yeah, and then when I saw, and then find like more so when I was thinking about getting my own podcast was when I saw uh, Academics was. In the process of making his making his podcast, and more so like he was more so just talking about what he was going through as far as like as far as large margins like rather than what I'm on type thing, and it, it still it still seemed like by then like it it just put the icing on the cake like this is doable like by then I was thinking like I'm 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 gonna start doing this like I'm gonna do this, mm-hmm. so those were, like those were some of the podcasts like it's still hella podcasts like I, I watch uh, Crime Junkie listen to crime junkie i listen to uh bill burr that's another comedian i listen to his podcast just all these all these different podcasts just more so cultivated to to like how i I molded my shit Mm -hmm. i think it's really cool that you have a podcast for real yeah thank you i think it's really cool i think it's different like you know what i mean like a lot of people like can say that they've been on a podcast but the fact that you can say that you have a whole network and then you also do other people's podcasts too like talk about that too <laughs> i mean i just i just like i don't know i'm just i'm a nigga so like when i start learning how to do something good i'm gonna learn how to sell that shit yeah so and then even it's something i like to do so it's like even like a double double like a win-win situation so i mean i i, I knew i didn't want to just like I wasn't. I wa- I knew I didn't want to approach it by just posting some shit on my Instagram. Like, yo, if you want a podcast, hit me up. I wanted to. I didn't just want anybody on my shit. I wanted to actually produce good shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, um, I just I, I hit up specific people. You know, and I, I don't plan on. I mean, it's still. I still have some stuff in the work that's not out yet that I'm excited for. But yeah, that's more so how I got into like. Like it's like once I started started getting a little consistent into my podcast, it was like I can do this for other people. Like, mm-hmm. and then when I started learning about what a network was and all that, I'm like, oh, I can, I can, I, I can like do this. Like, this is a brand. Like, so what is your goal? Like with the podcast, just in the network, 
just to just to just to build a hefty file of videos, just to build, just to keep doing it. Like that's that's my motivation. My motive. That's that's what I want out of it. Just to be able to keep doing it. Do you plan on getting your own space? Oh hell yeah! I want to get my own space. I want to get like. Just like, cause just, just shout out no jumper too. So just like how like years ago, 2015 type shit, they had a store type. Shit. They still have, a, they don't have a store no more, but they had a store type thing that they ran that podcast out of. And like, I mean, it's still, it was like the disadvantages, like niggas was running in there trying to like fucking fuck shit up and shit. Mm-hmm. But like, I, 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 what I took from that was just how it, like how it looked, how it was presented, and I, and I really, and I really liked that. So. But for me being a nigga, I'm not just going to have my shit so you can just look it up and just come there. Right. But I really like the storefront. Like, I want to have a storefront. Like, the, if this going to be a brand, uh, it's going to be a brand. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be able to just, like, I want to be able to just open up a store and sell some fucking snowballs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to be able to do that. But still, like, at the end of the day, the main priority of that store is just content in it, the YouTube, the, the podcasting. Mm-hmm. So I would love to have a storefront, but at, but my that's just like some that's just like some temporary like starter shit. But my end goal, if everything happens in my favor, which I'm a nigga, so that shit out the window. But if everything happened in my favor, I want to end up with a warehouse, so I like have like rooms and like mm-hmm. big ass rooms for podcasts, because I want to have like shout out to Random Order. They got like a, a like a whole green screen, like the whole like head the feet like it looked like they're like they in a green screen room like everything is green screen so mm-hmm. that would be I, I would like to like just get into that bag but it's a process like i take it every day but it's good that you have a plan you know you have a goal i have a plan i have a goal yeah but now i'm not that me saying i have a goal i have a plan that doesn't mean i'm like i'm, I'm gonna get there it's just like i'm not just doing it for nothing but because people but you get, have a plan you have a goal which means that you have something you have something that you're working towards, and you have a way to do it. Touche. I guess. So you as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, then why, why? I mean, you can do anything. Shout out Molly the King. But let's move on, cause you got a lot of stuff going on, and I gotta fit it all into this interview. <laughs> you think so? I got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Shit. I so know that. one of your extracurriculars, which is not really extracurricular in my opinion, is your music, and that's what I'm about to dig into. <laughs> So you just dropped the album on December fifth, twenty twenty one. Okay, I did. Yes. Burnt out. Burnt out. Yes. Go cop that. Why the name burnt out? Because like, damn, I never thought I had to explain this. <laughs> More so, I thought of burnt out just from like, like when I go into thinking of an album, mm-hmm. I I I either like have something thought of already or mm-hmm. i don't have nothing thought of so in this one one of the, this situation particularly a burnt out i didn't have no i didn't have no plan i was just making songs like i didn't even think i would release any of these songs but like as i build up all these songs and i realized the collection i had and i started getting the track list and everything it just burnt out fit the description so perfectly because like this is like the, every song is like like it's just like is it more so burnt out? This is more so. How am I just going to explain this? Fuck. <laughs> more so burnt out means when you're at your max and mm-hmm. you and you putting 24 hours in the in the everything that you need to do to get yourself to the next day, and and even after that 24 hours, putting putting no, not even say if you use 20 hours, you got that four hours of sleep. Make a fucking song like. That's mm-hmm. basically what I was in. That's basically what what this, this whole album was like. I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out. I was. This is the process. I'm. I was making this album in the process of me doing podcasts and me doing clothing design and me working as like a regular regular adult, mm-hmm. like just just trying to keep my head above the water type shit. And 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 then still putting that extra, still still at the end of my day when I'm when I'm burnt out. That's that's why the, that's why the whole thing is burnt out. Cause at the end of the day, when you burnt out, I made this type mm-hmm. thing, and I don't think and and like yeah, burnt out. Like it was just that was just the name. Like I just felt like I just felt like when I put my all into everything else, and then like this 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 burnt out thing mean to me, it mean like this is this is like that last like I I've been saving up. Cause how am I gonna explain this? 
I don't, I, I don't really, I don't have the time to do what I want to do, because mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep my head above water. So the time when I do have to do what I want to do, I'm squeezing out all my creative juice into this, into this two hours, into this three hours, and and I would get a product like it burnt out. So that's more so what it means to me. Mm-hmm. That's more so what I'm trying to push out is just like doing everything you need to do and still doing the shit that you want to do. It's not easy. It's fucking tiring. Yeah. You know that. So I still got burnt out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Was I just talking in circles or that makes sense? No, it makes sense. Okay, cool. But how do you how do you feel about this new project? And where did you get the inspiration to create it? Shit. I'm, I'm, that's a two-time question. So I'm going to answer the first question. How do I feel about the project? I feel like, I feel, I feel like I, the, for the first time I perfected something. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like that's that's how I feel. I feel like I perfected something because every other project that I ever dropped, I listen to it back, and it's still like that one song I would skip. Mm-hmm. Like this is the first project like ever that I dropped, and like I listen to the whole shit, and I'm like, damn, that's it. Like I'm skipping through the songs. Like damn, I ain't put nothing else on there. Like that's, this is this is I'm proud of I'm proud of this project. That's how it make me feel. I feel very proud. Like I've never been proud of a project. Mm-hmm. Any other time, it's like, oh, finally I got this shit off. Like type shit. This is the first time I got proud type thing. And the second question was where I got my inspiration from to make the album. Mm-hmm. Shit. Just, I honestly, honestly, I got the. I got the ins- I got the inspiration to make this album just from, like, just from having them times to myself to reflect, and realizing like not even like of course I reflect my time as far as real life and all that but as far as Blase Chris when I reflect on Blase Chris as far as his timeline like it's it's like I I felt like I felt like I cheated I I was giving myself excuses to not drop anymore. I went from dropping so much to dropping, like, I haven't dropped the project, like, it's like a whole year, like, it was like 2019 type shit mm-hmm. that I dropped that project, and I never, like, I never felt like, I never felt like the people that listen to me deserve something so good, you know what I mean? I never felt like the people deserved, no, I don't, not so good, I never felt like the people that listen to me deserved the project like more type shit because mm-hmm. any other time like oh i know i dropped last month so like i can wait a couple more weeks like this is the first time like i felt like oh like i need to get this shit out like i need to put my I, and, and at the end of the day i put my best foot forward and I, i'm proud of every second of every song so yeah that's good though so what's your favorite song on the album Can I do like one through seven or some shit? No. Why you gotta pick one? Pick one song. Holy fuck. My favorite song on the album. Can I do a top three? No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a favorite. I can't do that. Like What's your favorite song on the album? Go if on. you had to, if you had to, if you say you had, say you weren't gonna drop this whole album, what, like, if you were gonna drop a single, what would you drop? Out of this, like, what's your favorite? Like, what's your favorite? That does not make sense. Like, if you, if you, if Drake, if Drake, <laughs> if Drake was like, I want to hear one of the songs off your new album, which one would you play for Drake? And Drake, he only gonna listen to one. So, which one? how do you know that? <laughs> Um, I'm really starting to think Drake being your DMs now. <laughs> no, because I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I can't. Prices still okay. coming off of the top like I'm up in my prices. E- uh, yeah, prices. Prices. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the type of nigga to take second chances. So that's my first and final answer. I would. I, I like. I like. Don't get attached. And I like NPR. You just put two songs. You supposed to pick one. <laughs> you, you didn't ask me what my favorite song. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you a cheater. But I like those. And my actual favorite song didn't make it on the album, so <laughs> that's why I don't have. That's why I can't just say. I a mean, favorite. what is the song? You can tell it. 
I don't know the actual name to it because it's just on my phone. Like it just say like you know how it it don't got an actual name to it. But okay, I know what it is. But you know, I told you I got you. Is it the one I said I was gonna put on a rock album? Yes, I'm making a rock album. <laughs> Show what he said. Get to that. <laughs> get to that and later. So now I'm about to ask you. I'm now I'm about to get into you. So tell me about your community. Who close to you influences you the most? And then who in the music industry influences you? Influence me the most to do what? Like do music? Mm -hmm. Everything. Like who who inspires you? Like, well, first tell me about your community. Like where like do you live? How you grew up? All of that. Like, oh, you want to hear where I'm from type thing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your community. Oh, my God. These people don't know of you. But I want them I don't want them to think that I'm like some hood nigga, like But they don't know who you are. Like they wanna know your like they're not just like musically, but they wanna know who your personality is. Like where are you from? Like tell me about you tell me about where you where you live, what you're around every single day. Tell me about that. Right now, can I do it right now? Like recently? No. Or I gotta do tell like, me from the beginning. I mean, just tell tell me tell me uh, the All important right. stuff. The important stuff. Okay. I remember. I, if I grew up in Emerson Village, right behind Emerson Village, like a walking distance from Rogno Heights from the school I went to that school too. I remember when. I remember when it was around my birthday time, and I was first telling my parents I wanted to be a, like I wanted to start rapping and shit <laughs> shit man and then and then I remember in school okay I remember now okay I remember in sc- okay so I told my parents I wanted to make music I was probably around like I was in like sixth grade. That's like 10, 11 type shit. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make music. I told them this. And then at at school, I was already like head forcing. Like I was already a rapper. Like I was rapping at lunch. I had a a little group. This is when Miles Behavior was popping. So (laughs) my group was called Fresh Behavior. Really? Don't you know the nigga Sean that was here? Mm Mm-hmm. That that him that the nigga that was a gamer, he was in a group, <laughs> and then Dion was in a group, mm-hmm. Eric was in a group, and that was it. I miss Dion, <laughs> but um, yeah yeah yeah, um, I was talking about the music shit, so I remember. It was like at my school, at my middle school, I was in like, I was in like sixth grade and it was like Fire Fridays. So like you could like perform anything you want. You had to sign up for it. And they would like do this concert every Friday and like other students like doing whatever. Like it'd be like people dancing or like painting or some shit. And for us, it was rapping. So my first, I remember I was, I, I remember I basically performed one of the Fire Fridays, and I remember I was writing that shit. I was saying it back to back. I stole like a, a line or two from somebody. Uh, I sexy. Uh, that's his YouTube. No, his name is I sexy. I don't know what happened in the YouTube, and now it's expert thief or something. He a gamer now. Mm-hmm. But I took like a couple lines from him, like, and I went off of that. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but. But basically, I performed that Friday, and like, I guess like at then like my shit, niggas. I guess my shit was quote unquote so hard. They had, like I I was I had like two verses. Like it's still if it's probably still a video of it. Like everybody else went once, I went like twice type shit. Mm-hmm. And like just from just from just from the whole process of of thinking that idea of wanting to be a rapper. Mm-hmm writing one rap out and then performing it in front of people and getting a, that reaction like it was it was worth it like I liked it you know and then 
and then as time went on and, and my and then like probably like a couple of weeks or a couple of months later my parents got me my own recording set mm-hmm. and then i started learning how to record myself i'm probably like 11 12 by then and then yeah like i just i just kept going from there it took a long break like in between like probably like 13 and 15 just from just from life you know just from fucking just from wanting to do shit to myself that I regret having them thoughts about just from having them just from being in rough places um and that made me got back into it at 15 or 14 but at the beginning when I first got my recording set it went from it went from recording to get this reaction to to like a therapy type thing yeah so I love making music I if can tell the story that's how the story goes that's where it all started baby so what about now what do you mean what about now like what like about now like like every single day like what like about your community type thing like like what are you around now now I'm in I'm in a county. I'm not around as much violence. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't have. I don't have that many bad influences. Um, now I don't. I, I mean, now it's, it's 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 such a. It might sound like crazy, like to say the place where I live at now, but it's such a safer place. Um, to be honest, and and that's that's really where I started to really blossom to put my creativity, like to, to find out I had creativity, to learn how to cultivate that creativity. Cause before I was following codes to not end up like somebody, to not end up dead in a ditch somewhere. I was I was doing shit other way. Like I was I was trying to make the best of what I had back when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. And I had everything, I was spoiled, but it was the environment that, that, that could have steered me in the wrong place. And just, just, I'm go- halfly, I was, halfly, I was brought up around the right people, mm-hmm. the people that saw the potential that I had, that that made me on the right way. Like, if it wasn't for those people, I would have been a crash dummy like anybody else. So speaking of those people, who close to you influences you most? <laughs> First of all, my mother. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dion. Mm-hmm. Uh, my cousin. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my, my cousin, I played basketball with John. Mm-hmm. And my father. And everybody else in my family just kept me feeling like that I was loved. So they did that job too. So who in the music industry influences you the most? Like like people that I know? No, like but just like who who inspires you the most? Like who influences you like the most? Like who's your fit like you Oh know period. I, yeah. Oh definitely. Uh Lil Wayne. I be wrong because that's the only person. No, because it's really who influences you the most. So like, Lil Wayne. How? How? Like, he. I. I remember listening to him as a kid, and and finding out what evolution was as a kid just from watching, just from listening to Lil Wayne, just from listening him to him from two thousand seven to. 2012 like just from witnessing that evolution gave me a perspective what evolution was and then just studying who he was and how how he he's built what everything I learned like it, it just it, it was a perfect thing like it was a perfect thing um, it was a perfect thing he 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 like just from just from being an I remember watching him he was just a straight street nigga that was a blood then he was fucking skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Then he was fucking 
making a rock album, playing guitar. Like, then he made it, like, then I was rocking Truck Fit. I was one of them niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, I like, I like seeing the evolution. Like, it, it made, it made me realize it when I was young that it's changes in life type shit. And, and his, and like, his music is, is, speaks for itself. Like, that consistency speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Like, period. So, I know you kind of like already got kind of got into this, but how did your upbringing like influence it? Influence like everything that you do today? Like not just music, but like your music, your podcast, everything that you do. Um, I guess growing up, what I took from it to inspire me now, more so is that. Every it's like it's 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 a lot of people on earth, and and it taught me how to how to how to be in reality, how to stay in reality, mm -hmm. how to know like they like like I what what I when I growing up shit taught me how like yo you are not always gonna be that five percent like like type shit like it just it taught me how to stay loyal, it taught me how to know what I want and to recognize what I want. It taught me how to figure out how to do what I want. It taught me it taught me priorities. Mm -hmm. It taught me security. It taught me a lot like a lot of things that I stand on now. So with everything that you have on your plate, you cuz you have a lot of stuff on your plate. Just with like your your like art that you do okay and then also just with, like your everyday like like just you know living okay like how do you how do you make time for yourself what, and then what do you do for yourself like you know if you just it say 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 tomorrow you had a day to just do like some self-care like how do you take care of yourself Do the things that I used to do when I when I was like when I was thirteen, like just fucking watch YouTube videos, watch some movies, listen like more, but more so a lot a lot of like a, 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 another thing that 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 I that I continue to do for self care that I that I try to do, I guess just sit in silence, sit in darkness if you can, do both if you can, just sit there. Just let your mind do the rest, you know. Just sit there. Whether if you're reflecting, whether if you're creating, whether if you're learning how to heal from something, just sit in silence and let the, the like that's it. That's all. That's all. That's my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. Just don't have no thoughts. Don't have nothing to do. Don't be looking at nothing. Don't be feeling nothing. Just sit in the dark and make sure everything is on silent. So kind of like meditating a little bit. That's what that is. So what's what's the hardest thing that you ever had to go through, and how did you get through it? The hardest thing I ever had to go through was probably like when I was on lean and like my last days of being on lean. Mm -hmm. I was in like. To put it in perspective, I was in like ninth grade. Don't you know how you in like high school and like you got like homeroom and shit? And it's like seven thirty. So basically, I was I was in ninth grade, like probably like thirteen, fourteen, twelve or something. No, I definitely wasn't twelve. I was definitely thirteen, fourteen. And I was in homeroom, like busted off the lean, like fucked up, like bad, like bad, like I was fucked up. And one of the one of the girls like told on me type shit. And I got caught up and got kicked out of school and shit. And, like, that was probably my hardest time. Just from dealing with the consequences and, like, and all that shit. Like, I had to go to a whole different school. Like, 
I really had to learn, like, in those times, like, I had to learn how to adapt. Like, I was in two different dime. I was in the, I was at the top spectrum at one point, then I was at the bottom at the next point. And I had to learn to adapt. And so that was probably my hardest time. Like, not even just adapt because I have to, just adapt because, like, that's what I need to do. Like I was, I'm. It's ninth grade. I'm 13, and I'm fucked up off a lane at 7:30 in the morning. Like by that time, I was at my max. Like I was, I was, I was running out of lean. Fucking going to the CVS and buying fucking sleep aid and fucking cough syrup. So I was. I, I guess that's the definition of down bad. But yeah, that was probably my hardest time. And how'd you get through it? Just, just making. Just like every day, like just taking every single second of every day, like just just worrying about that. With I, I just wor- I don't thinking about the future, the end goal. I don't think about what it's gonna take. I take every second, and I try to be the person that I want to be. Keep it Baltimore though. So, I'm about to lighten it up a little bit. So, what do you do for fun? Like, you know, if you're not worrying about all the responsibilities and all the stuff that you have to do and, like, you know, how how do you just kick back and, like, just have some fun? Like, what do you do? Make music. I either uh, do that. Um, I play the game. But as of being 21... (laughs) <laughs> I be going to the casino, watching a football game. <laughs> Some old head shit. <laughs> yeah, I be on that old head shit. Yeah, that's what I be doing. But yeah, those are like my, but more so growing up, like what I'm used to doing, my main go to is just make music. When mm-hmm. I have free time, the first thing that goes to my head is, should I make music right now? Like, mm-hmm. that is my fun time. When I, my fun time is when I'm finished making the whole song and I'm listening to it. Yeah. That's lit. Then so, I'm having fun. Huh? Then I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you, like, what's something that you've learned, like, just being an artist? Like, and is there anything that you've wished you known or regret doing? I'm gonna answer your first question first. That was what? What's something that you've learned being an artist? And that could be, I'm gonna start with music and then I'm gonna say podcasting because like, they're completely different. Like, you know. Okay, well my well, my music, so far I've, I've learned that, shit. You gotta have enough strength to fucking open it up that FL studio one more time. Mm-hmm. You gotta have enough strength, cause it's like, nigga, it's easy to quit. Like, you just gotta stop doing it, and it's easy. It's easier to quit. Like, you just gotta have enough. Like, no matter how, no matter what your goal is, no matter if your goal is to make a rock album or your goal is to sell a million fucking copies, at the end of the day, you have to know to have enough strength to do it again. Mm-hmm. No matter, no matter if that last time or that last time before then that you didn't make anything. Cause I, I done went in the studio and tried to make something and like it took me like fucking three, four sessions to finally make something. And it just it just took that strength enough to open it up one more time. It just took that, it just take that strength. All that's, it's not, a, it's not a lot of strength, but it is. It's a heavy ass pebble. And so like with music, like you, you do, uh, you do it all. So you make your own beat and everything so like what have you learned like through that like even just about like what you use and like stuff like that like stuff that like if somebody is trying to do what you do like what's something that you could tell them to like you know what i mean like don't do this or like you know what i mean like stuff that you just like you learn that like people could avoid doing three three as these this is at the end of the day it's never a formula because 
it all depends on this is my formula for my thing because i like doing everything i like creating everything into the song so this is my formula but it's a lot of different ways like it's 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 niggas it's niggas that that rap that just tell the producer what they want it's niggas that rap that just pick out a beat it's niggas that rap that make their own beat like like it's different ways it's different formulas for different and and none of them like it's like a prescription like you can't just pick one that cause that work at for everybody type shit. It's nothing like that when you're in that type of industry. But what was your second question? Like I was saying, like I guess not not really a formula, but like what have you like learned that like you could like if somebody's oh, trying yeah, to do yeah. it. Yeah, my three steps. My three steps. If anybody's trying to get into get into what I'm doing, is the first one. The first one is to learn how to do it yourself before you pay somebody to do it. The second one is to have enough strength to keep doing it no matter if you fucking hated the last four songs you made. And the third one is you're not perfect until you're 100% making what you like. Like if it's not, if you making some shit to be something or you making some shit to sound like something, it's never gonna work for you. But if at the end of the day, you trying to you, you you making some shit and it's and you making it sound you want it to be hard for you like that's that's a, that's the last step like as long as, as if you got those three steps down you can start putting on music you can start doing whatever you want that's all you need and if you're trying to get in and youtube is your friend yeah speaking of youtube if you're trying to get more of an in-depth video on how to become a rapper he has a one. He has a how to become a rapper one on one on the podcast you channel. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> it's the first. It's the literally the first video, and it's really helpful if you're really trying to become a rapper. Two parts. It's, it's, it's part. It's part one and part two. You know, part two part. parts. The camera hasn't switched, has it? No. Has it been five minutes? Yes. It's been way longer than five minutes. Motherfucker! But yeah, if you're trying to really become a rapper, he actually has two videos. Where you can learn how to become a rapper. And, like, the first thing you learn is anybody could become a rapper. So, tune into that if you're really serious about it. Ain't that some shit? That shit not switching back. I'm sorry. So. You want me to pause it? Yeah. You want me to fix it? Fucking bitch! I d- I've been peeped that the camera wasn't switching a while ago. See how hard that shit is trying to do it in one take. Get silly. Get silly. Get silly. Michael Jackson. You know where you left off at? Yeah. Alright, you ready? Let me get some more. I got a few questions for you. All right, cool. You know how I wrap it up? I think so. I'm trying my best. That's all you got to do. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. All right. 
Blase Chris interview, take three, continued. So, is there anything that you wish you known or that you regret doing? I wish I'd known that it would be times that I wouldn't like what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I'd known that. It was a, I, I thought I would like everything I touched. And not knowing that, it, 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 built, it, it caused a lot of anger, you know? I wish I knew that. And what's the other question? That you regret. Uh, or do you regret anything? I regret taking. I regret taking that break in between, like between like uh like the take ten and like thirteen or something. I, when I I regret taking that break in between music, like just I this didn't. break that you just was on. No, I'm talking about like when I was like ten years old, like oh. to, to like thirteen or fourteen. I regret taking that break. Like that was a, like that was a long break. Even though I wasn't really re- releasing anything by then, I, I I regret taking that long break. Mm-hmm. Just from I could have learned a lot from that break. That's it. But at least at least like that because like would you say that was like one of your first breaks? First and only one. Except for this one. I don't think I took a break from music. But like I'm oh you took you stopped making music during that time or like you just like you were making music but you didn't put anything out. No, then back then I wasn't putting out music and I and, and I stopped making music. Oh. I wasn't I, I didn't start putting out music until like 2015, 2014, 2013, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't start putting out music until then. And that was when I was coming off of that 2 3 year break type thing. Mm. And I wasn't making music at all. I just stopped doing it entirely. That was the biggest regret I had. Compared to this recent most break, I wouldn't consider it a break because I was still doing music. I just wasn't releasing anything. Right. But I guess it was still like, it was still like a break as far as like you putting out music. Cause like before you were just, you were dropping stuff more frequently. But like this time it wasn't really a break where like you weren't, you weren't doing music where you weren't working, but like it was more like a break as far as like, you took a break to perfect what it is that you're doing so that when you did drop something, that it was, it wasn't like you stopped working on. Yeah, it wasn't like that. So, I understand what you're saying. I'll never make that mistake again. But I think it was good that you, like, it, because it wasn't a break, but, like, I'm, I'm going to call it a break just because, like, for other people, like, it, it was a break because, like, you didn't drop anything, like, you know what I mean? But it wasn't like you weren't working, you know what I mean? And also, you had other things that you were, like, you started doing. Like, you started doing your podcast, and you had way more stuff on your plate than before. Because, like, when you dropped that, like, where, like, 2019, that was high school, right? That's when I graduated, yeah. So, like, were you working at the time or anything like that? Like, did you have, like, compared to now? So, like, as far as then, like, you were, on, like, your only concern that you really had, like, as far as responsibility-wise was, was, um. Creating. Yeah. But at least now, like, and it's crazy that, like, you only took a certain amount of time when it's, like, you had so much, like, you had so many more responsibilities now that, like, you would think that, like, if you were trying to, like, do what you had just, like, what you just dropped or whatever. It would be like, reverse type shit. hmm Yeah. Yeah, I think the same thing. That's why it's called, that's why I, I like it so much more because I knew I had a certain amount of time. I couldn't just fuck around all day. I never been I never been in that space before. So it's like you unlocked a whole different like you know what I mean like a whole. I guess. So. Now. So I know I already kind of asked you about this like as far as like what you would tell other people to do, but if you could just give one person like, I'm I just wanna I just wanna like I just need some advice like one thing like. Just one thing, one like one piece of advice to like somebody watching right now. Like, what would you tell them? Whether they trying to like, whether they trying to start a music career or a podcast, like or anything, like you know what I mean, like something as far as media or like anything that they want to do, like what would you, what would, advice would you give them right now? Just start somewhere and don't stop. Start somewhere. Start anywhere. Start recording that shit from your phone if you want to do music or a podcast. Start anywhere. 
and don't stop doing it. That's 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 the only thing. So now that you dropped this new project, burnt out. Burnt out. Get it anywhere. Go buy that bitch. I for <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> what can we expect from you? Do you plan on taking another break or do you have some stuff cooking already? I definitely want to evolve into a, a, a album artist. Mm-hmm. So, with that, and so to when I say that, I, to me that means taking more time from releasing. But when I do release, release a bunch to last until the next time. So, I might drop a single, but I'm 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 probably I, I don't plan on going back to what I used to do, like trying to drop a song every week just because I don't have that time to make that much music. Now, if that happens, then that happens. But for now, in being reality, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep collecting a group of songs to put out, a good group of songs to put out. That's, that's the plan. Okay. So it's December 22nd. It's about to be 2022. What is your biggest goal for 2022? It could be anything. To drop another album, 2022, to perfect the podcast network, to have a brand by then, and then the last one is just to keep, just to keep strive, just strive from it. That's that's all. I think that's some good goals. That's the only plan. I, I gotta see. You got. I gotta. I, I. 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 can't just see. I can't just use my imagination. Like I. Like I just can't do that. I have to think in reality. I have to think of tomorrow and the day after that. Like I, I, I. Like like we was talking the other night about how like you can see the progress and like how far I'm going and how far I came, but in, in, as far as me personally, I I can't see that because I'm too focused on the next day. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I'm going to get it to that progression. Is to keep focusing on the next day. And I feel like it's important that you understand that. So it's like you, however it is that you can process, like, and that however you decide to move forward, like, as long as you're moving forward with everything that you want to do. That's all you have to do. Just keep doing what you want to do. No matter if you got to work 16 hours a day and then do what you want to do, do what you got to do. It's just burnt out. Stay burnt out. And die burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything else that you want to let these people know about you? Anything else you think I didn't cover? Anything that you think is important? I really appreciate everybody that supports me. I know the name Blase Chris. I go way too deep in that character. I'm just way too humble and way too subtle about everything. But I appreciate everything because I wouldn't have everything if I wasn't able to put it out to you type thing if i wasn't able to put it out to the viewers i wouldn't it wouldn't, it wouldn't sit right with me so i, I really appreciate everybody that n- not even like the content just just appreciate it that just that just realize it i really appreciate it i'm i, I, I try to 2022 i'm trying to appreciate more everything no matter if it's the way i tie my shoes to the way i pay my bills just appreciate it because niggas can shoot you in the back of the head i appreciate it i appreciate the way you put you don't tie your shoes but you put them as long as slide them on shout out to them crocs <laughs> keep them safe appreciate but we you brush your teeth all that but yeah. thank you thank you shorty <laughs> i guess that's all i really had for you today obviously there's way more questions and way more information because you can't just it's not like you know what i mean but i just wanted y'all to have a little bit of like a type of glimpse or whatever just so you can get to know blase chris just a little bit more i am that nigga is it walking it up here wish i could put the cash cash buttons in there but hit it from a distance (laughs) (laughs) but that's all that we have for today Thank y'all. And yeah, Blase Show, best podcast on earth. <laughs> <laughs>